Hey gang, Scott here. Got a quick tip for you with the select landscape feature in Lightroom, uh, this new masking feature that was added a couple weeks back now. A lot of photographers are talking about it because it is a very cool addition to the way Lightroom's uh, adding more features into the masking. And I wanna show you how you can leverage it to like quickly segment or split up your photo into you know, like more logical pieces and then do treatments on them. And it's gonna speed up your workflow. So let's have a look at this photo here where I have done my basics. And uh, really I want to do two primary things with respect to segments of the photo. I wanna do something to the vegetation, the greens. I want those to be a little greener. And I wanna deal with this uh, color cast, like this bluish cast that's uh, kind of in the architecture in the background. So uh, I've done my basics and we'll open up the masking area and choose the new landscape option. Let Lightroom think about the photo for a moment and segment it out into the different you know, regions that it's gonna see. And you know, there's a lot of different things it can detect, everything from artificial ground, natural ground. It all depends on the photo that's there. Uh, okay, so it came back with sky, architecture, vegetation, artificial, and natural ground. And uh, did, a, did a really nice job, really, overall. I'm interested in two things, the vegetation, make things a little bit greener, and the architecture to deal with some uh, color casting. And the very nice thing is I can choose to put these into a single mask by deselecting the separate masks, um, or I could make everything one mask. In this case, you know, I, I tend to just use the separate masks because I want to treat these various places individually. But if you needed to add up, I don't know, you know, the sky plus mountains, for example, you can do that here. But here I'll create the two separate masks and start with vegetation. So vegetation, what do I wanna do here? Uh, quick color adjustment, point color, and these yellows that are out in the foliage, I wanna move those a little bit greener, right? And I can be more precise with this now, with, uh, with our point color. You know, we had this uh, for a while, but uh, to select all that vegetation would have been either more work or I would have tried to do something with a color range mask. And so now I've got the vegetation before and after little greener, yellow, then green. And then for the architecture, I wanna deal with that, uh, that color cast out there. So again, I'll use point color and kind of pick just on something that should kind of be white. And it's this low blue thing. I'll just take the saturation out of it and just pull that, pull that down pretty far. So before and after. You know, leveraging that landscape, that select landscape to do quick segmentation of the photo. Find the areas you care about, make your adjustments. For this one, I'll finish it off with, um, I guess, a couple of uh, radials, um, really to kind of do a little more a little more brightness, probably in this area here, just to draw attention down to that bench, open that up a little bit. And then I'll probably just invert that. Let's just go ahead and duplicate and invert, maybe stretch this out a little bit more, and uh, go ahead with an actual vignetting on it. So I'm really kind of using that natural framing that's there. You know, but all that added up in just a handful of clicks, really, you know, from here, from the basics to here, a final image, but leveraging that uh, select landscape option. It is uh, really powerful. You can build it into presets. You can do all sorts of things. Like I said, a bunch of photographers talking about this. Don't take my word for it. <laughs> Check out some other videos if you haven't already. Uh, but uh, that's, uh, that's uh, the tip. That's one of the ways I'm using this uh, new feature. Hope you found the video useful. Questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.